Greetings, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and on this episode of Real Insights, my guests are the showrunners of Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hello, Chris and Alan. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. It's a pleasure to meet the both of you. And first off, I just want to thank y'all for bringing so many of my favorite shows and films to life. I can smell the talent oozing from y'all. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I didn't know I smelled like that, but sure, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, uh, I'm loving that shirt, too, by the way. Yeah. I have to represent. Uh, I wanted to see, uh, can the both of you discuss the first time you fell in love with the Ninja Turtles? And what does it mean to have your fingerprints on the franchise, which happened well before, you know, Tales of the TMNT? For me, I, I was, I wasn't really, I saw the live action movie when I was a kid around the 90s. But other than their ninjas, their turtles that are ninjas, I don't really know a whole lot. I didn't really learn a whole lot until I start working on 2012 when I was working with Sierra Neely. Uh, who's a huge Turtles fan, and uh, I got to learn, you know, they're far beyond your normal Shredder foot story. There's a rich history uh, behind all the Turtles, and then uh, as I was working on the series, I also learned dy dynamics between the brothers. So, yeah, I think ever since that, I also learned that these guys are phenomenal. Like, these characters are phenomenal. You can, like, put them in any uh, sort of story, and they work, because there's just such good characters. Oh, I was, uh, I think I was 11, maybe, when, like, the actual 80s show came out. So, like, that was my first intro to them. I, I think I even had, like, a, a Mikey cereal bowl, like, shaped like his head that I ate my little Captain Crunch out of. Um, but, no, like, I, yeah, ever since I was a kid, like, I, I was a Turtles guy. I love that. You know, uh, I'm I'm born in 89, so I'm a little late to it, you know, but the 90s, you know, I was on the cusp of, like, right when, you know, it went really, really mainstream, so... I have a lot of fond memories with all the versions of the turtles, to be honest, from back then to now, I love every instance that's been offered live action, animated video games. Uh, it's all been spectacular. The toys and the merchandise, you know, uh, I have a lot of photos of myself with my backpack. I even had like the Ninja Turtles undies. I'm not going to lie. You know, <laughs> we all have that. Uh, so I definitely love this show so much. It just reminded me of the good old days, like Saturday morning cartoons and really offering a really fresh take with the storytelling. It's something I've never seen before with the turtles, to be honest, despite, you know, this being the next extension of mutant mayhem following up to maybe the next feature film. So I loved it, but Chris, I wanted to ask you, what's the trick of making long, making a long standing franchise like the TMNT fresh and engaging for new and returning fans. Uh, it's a couple things. One, like we had like the, the easy job of following up the movie. Yeah. And I say easy in the sense of like, they really like, they developed these kids like they really set the tone like that movie totally knew what it wanted to be. And that was like a, a, a turtles version that really put the kids forward as kids. They focused on the teenager and we just kind of like took that uh, whatever sports ball analogy you want to do. Like we just took it and ran with it. Like at the end of the day, like that tone was, you know, like something that was crucial to us and we had to kind of recreate it at the same time. Like, you know, like we want to do something new and different as well. So like, you know, like the thought of, you know, like we've all seen the turtles together before, like, you know, like the four brothers, the team, all of that, like, you know, like let's split them up, you know, like let's put them in a situation where they get separated and challenge them. Like they've never been challenged. Before. So like, that was uh, something that, you know, got us all excited about it and like really kind of differentiated us from like the movie and whatever series came before us. And I think it's, uh, I think it's worked out pretty well. Oh, for sure. Uh, Alan, what are some of the key visual elements or techniques you want to emphasize in the series to really make it stand out, stand out. Well, I think the in terms of uh, the the technique is uh, we we want to make it different from like the the shows the standard action show that look very polished and sleek. We want to embrace some of what the movie established, which is a more rough edge, more sketchier approach. So um, we're not overly concerned about the line quality, whereas like we truly embrace the rougher lines, the sketchy line uh, from our characters to background. There's a very human hand-drawn element to it. So uh, we really want to highlight that. And then in terms of like, you know, the action choreography, we definitely also want to make them feel a bit more grounded in comparison to something like Rise. Yeah, I love the the, st the style y'all went for and continue to do. It's really great 
Lastly, I want to know which turtle do you identify with most and why? And we'll start with Chris. Um, I go back and forth between Leo and Donnie, you know, like Leo, uh, you know, it's just like the, the serious one, the responsible one, the one with like the, the big old chip on his shoulder. Um, but at the same time, like I'm a Donnie too. Like that's the great thing about turtles. Like there's something everybody can find within the turtles. Like I love the anime and the comics and the science stuff. Um, so yeah, those two are definitely my top two. Uh, I, I identify Leo with Leo the most. It's just, you know, um, trying to be responsible, but also, you know, try to have a little fun at the same time. It's a dad thing. <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> I love it. I'm probably a little bit of all of them, to be honest, uh, especially as, you know, just going, growing up, you know, you become one and then you find out you're another one and you just get a little bit of all of them, especially growing up with the turtles. You know, I, I re relate with all of them and pizza's life. From, from what I've learned Pizza's from life. <laughs> for me. But Chris and Alan, this is really great. And I hope we get to talk again soon. Thank All you right. So much. Thank you, man. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nortropolis. And stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers.